Hi guys! So today I'm going to do a video on Greek names for you, and Greek names are some of my absolute favorite names in the entire world. My all-time favorite boy's name is Greek, and I just love them. There is so much history to these names, and I just love them. I could have made a list of 100 girls' names and 100 boys' names for you, but I had to narrow it down to 12, which, believe me, that was really difficult. Um, but I'm going to get started with some of my absolute favorite Greek boys' names, and the first one I have is Ambrose. And recently I have fallen head over heels in love with this name. Um, even though it does kind of sound like an old man name, I can just imagine it on a cute little boy, and it has a wonderful meaning. It means immortal. And then I have Cadmus, and I just love the sound of this name. Um, Cadmus means from the east. The only problem that I could see with this name is that it has the word cad in it, and I wouldn't want that as a nickname, but I just think this has such a cool sound, and it's a little bit different than um, some of the other names out there right now. Then I have Corridan, and I love this name. I love how it looks. Um, sometimes I really just love how names look when they're written or printed, um, and that makes me love the name even more, and Corridan means lark. And then I have another one that I've just fallen in love with recently, and that is Iridian. And Iridian means of the planet Eris, and I just think it has the coolest sound. It just, I just love these names so much. Then I have Eryx, and Eryx is just a cool name, um, just straight up a cool name. It has the very, very cool X at the end, and Eryx means boxer. And then I have Evander, and Evander's been one of my favorite names for a long time. It means good man, so it just has a wonderful meaning. Um, and I think it's just such a much more modern, fresher take on the name Evan, but you could use the nickname Evan if you really like that name. And then I have a name that's kind of a guilty pleasure name for me. This used to be one of my favorite names when I was a little bit younger, and that is Griffin. And Griffin is, of course, a mythological beast, um, and I just think that this is such a fun name. I don't know if I would ever use it, but it could be a really cool middle name. And then I have Leander, and Leander is one of the coolest forms of the Leo, um, Leonard names. Um, it means Lion Man. You could get away with using the nickname Leo for this if you really, really like that nickname, which I do. And then I have Memphis, and I like this for both boys and girls. It is a unisex name. It means established and beautiful, and I just think this is one of the really, really, really cool place names right now, along with names like Jericho. Um, I just would love to meet either a little boy or a little girl named Memphis. I think that would be so cute. And then I have my all-time favorite boy's name, which is Theodore. Um, Theodore means gift of God, and... I just, I just love this name. I love the nickname Theo. I just, I'm going to use this name if I ever have a son, so I love it, <laughs> obviously. And then I have Titus, and I started liking this name um, when I watched the TV series Rome. Um, Titus is a character in that series. His name is Titus Pulo, um, and Titus means giant. And the last one I have is in my top five boys' names, and that is Zephyr. And Zephyr means West Wind, and the first time I ever heard this name was actually when I was watching The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2, and Esmeralda and Phoebus have a son named Zephyr, and I thought it was the coolest name, um, and it's been in my favorite list ever since. For girls, the first one I have is Anemone, and my mom does not like this name at all. She thinks it's so weird that I like this name, but I love it, and it means breath. Um, I just think it flows off the tongue. Like, I just love to say it, Anemone. And then I have Ariadne, which means very holy, and um, Ariadne is the original form of the very popular name Ariana, um, and I just think this is so pretty. I would consider using this. And then I have Athena, and Athena is, of course, the Greek goddess of war and wisdom. And I think that this one um, is definitely not used enough. Um, I would love it. this name went up in popularity, because it is so cool. And then I have Calypso, and I know a lot of people don't like this name, but I love this name. Um, it's a type of music, but it is also a Greek girl's name that means hidden. 
And then I have another one that I love to say, um, and that is Eulalia. And this one I just think flows off the tongue so well, which is really funny because it means well spoken. Then I have Helen or Helena, and of course Helen of Troy is um, a Greek mythological character, um, and her name means light. And then I have Ianthi, and I've loved this name for a while. It means violet colored flower. And one of the reasons I like this is because it starts with I A N, which is Ian. Um, a completely different name, but my dad's name is Ian, and I have so much trouble finding ways that I could possibly honor him in um, future children's names, and I think that this name would be a wonderful way to do that. And then I have Ereni and Irene, um, and this used to be my absolute favorite girl's name. The only problem with this name is that I do not like the Irene pronunciation that was very popular in my grandma's generation. Um, I love the Irene pronunciation though. Um, when I was little my favorite book was The Princess and the Goblin and the princess's name is Irene. And Irene means peace, so it has a wonderful meaning. And then I have three P names. The first one is Penelope, and Penelope is so cute. I know two little sisters whose names are Amelia and Penelope, and they are adorable. Um, Penelope means with a web over her face. Then I have Persephone, which is very similar sounding to Penelope. This one does not have a good meaning. It means bringer of destruction, but I still love the sound of the name. Um, and then I have Phoebe, and Phoebe means bright and shining, and I think that this one is very usable and it has a wonderful meaning. And the last name I have is Thea. Um, I like Thea by itself. I like Theodora too, but I think Thea by itself is just very modern sounding, very cool, um, and it means gift of God as well, just like Theodore. So I know there are lots and lots of Greek names out there and I would love to know what your favorite Greek names are so let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will talk to you soon. Bye.